CNBC.com's Lauren Thomas reporting this afternoon that the company is laying off 15 percent of its salaried workers. Lauren joins us now. Lauren, were these layoffs inevitable given the pressure on margins and the stock price that we have seen over the last, I don't know, year or so? Yeah, absolutely, Sarah. You know, Stitch Fix is a company that has certainly been under pretty substantial pressure for a period of time now. I, I believe shares are down about or more than 55 percent year to date, uh, last I checked at this point. And just three months ago, Stitch Fix cut its revenue outlook for fiscal 2022. Uh, and it also entirely withdrew its outlook for earnings guidance. And at the time, you know, the company said that it was really going to have to reevaluate its cost structure, you know, how much money, for example, it was spending on marketing because it just wasn't bringing in the active customer count that it had anticipated. And again, you know, Stitch Fix um, was really appealing to, to a lot of us maybe when we were going to the office or, you know, looking for more formal outfits to wear. Certainly during the pandemic, it had to pivot its business a bit. Um, but again, to go back to the headlines this afternoon, uh, CEO Elizabeth Spaulding did send out a memo to employees announcing these layoffs, 15 percent of salaried positions, like you said, that represents about 4 percent of the company's total workforce, because it does have a number of um, employees that are paid on an hourly basis. In this memo, you know, Spaulding really des described that Stitch Fix is in the midst of a transformation. And she said, you know, mm -hmm. while some decisions yeah. can be difficult to make, such as this one, it's really going to hopefully, hopefully uh, set Stitch Fix better for profitable growth um, over the long term. Because, again, the company does report its uh, second quarter results after the bell in less than an hour, right? Um, and it's expected to uh, post losses for this latest quarter.